You know, I wonder what kind of game is best for family play. I don't know, but I know someone who might. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. I did not technically ask a question. And here's Brian Splain to answer that question. No. Hey. In a segment we like to call, let me explain it to you. Thanks, Travis. I was wondering, I just, I wondered out loud. Did, did you know the answer? Maybe. Then Leaf has a question for you, Brian. All right. Brian, what's the best kind of game for family play? Huh. Well, for me personally, one of my fondest memories growing up was deck building with my dad. Really? What's your favorite deck builder? Cedar Plank. Awesome. Uh, okay, no, um, Cedar Plank, I, I think you're talking about another kind of deck building. Leaf? Do you know anything about the origin of deck building? I'm almost sure you don't. Well, let me spillain it to you. You see, the term deck building originated in the Rio Grande area about 2 BC. Like 2 BC? Before Catan. In those days, the cards were made of two by fours and they were stacked in the form of a platform or a deck and the peasants would dance upon it. <laughs> the peasants of Rio Grande. Yes, but unfortunately those peasants grew jealous and they coveted those grand decks. So the people that were building them had to build themselves some railings around it and, and ended up calling it their dominion. <laughs> and there was no more dancing. And that made the peasants sad but the game started to move a little faster because there was a lot less distraction from peasants dancing all over your deck. Okay, there is so much wrong with everything that you're saying right now, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> over time, the game became called Dominion, number one export of the Rio Grande area. Rio Grande is the publisher. That's what I said. At that time, however, the game was slow to catch on because it weighed over 500 pounds and uh, tended to attract peasants. Yeah, none of that is true. <laughs> well, many imitations followed, and in 1 AD... After Dominion. Of course. All right, yep. Why are you encouraging him? I'm enjoying this. We had Thunderstone, which used large, flat stones instead of wood. Uh, this was followed the next year by Ascension which turned the planks upward and made it like a ladder. And then, of course, there was Legendary, which was very similar to Dominion, but the dancers were Comic-Con cosplayers. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, I've heard enough, all right? The concept of deck building was developed in 2008 by Donald X. Vaccarino when he created the game Dominion, published by Rio Grande Games. There was never any wood involved or dancing. Well, I, I don't think that's right. No, it is! <laughs> then what were my father and I playing every summer when we built all those decks in Texas? Okay, look, if I was to guess, I would say that your father probably built backyard decks for a living and roped you into providing free labor by convincing you it was a game. Well, what was with all the peasants? <laughs> that I don't know. Well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Fine. Brian Splain, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna call my dad and tell him I can't build decks with him this summer. You do that. <laughs> I don't think he'll mind.